Okay. Cost of the asset, 1750 Residual value, 155000 Okay. Acquired in 2016. Life, 10 years. Expected units of production, 100,000. Okay, units. Okay, in 2022, the, the entity produced 8,000 units. Okay, there is a policy stated in the problem. So again, as I mentioned earlier, so this is normally done to simplify the computation. It is the company's policy to take full year's depreciation in the year of disposal and none in the year of acquisition. So regardless of the date acquired, zero. Tapos regardless of the date of disposal, one year. So full on disposal, none on acquisition. Okay, so the requirement, compute depreciation for 2022 using the appropriate method. So in number seven, the machine's service potential declines with use. So, usage method. So, output activity method. So, using the output method, the formula to compute depreciation. Output times depreciation rate. Okay. So, output yan, times rate. And how to get the rate? The formula. Depreciable amount. Divide by the total estimated output. So in this case, cost less the residual value, the DA. So the depreciable amount is 1,595,000. Total estimated output, 100,000. So the DA divide by total estimated output. So the depreciation rate is 15.95 per unit. So to get the depreciation, output times rate. So the 2022 depreciation output is 8,000 times the rate. Okay, so number seven, delta, using output method. So that method is appropriate when the asset service potential declines with use. Okay, so usage method. Okay, next, number eight. Sum of the year's digits method or SYD. Okay, so using this method, okay, the formula. Depreciation equals the DA times applicable fraction. The fraction depends on the age. So kaya medyo inconvenient actually gamitin tong method na to. Kasi you need to know the age to determine the, fact, uh, the fraction. The denominator of the fraction is the sum of the year's digits. Okay, so the formula to get SYD, life plus 1, divide by 2, times life. So in this case, life is 10. Applying the formula, 10 plus 1, divide by 2, times 10. So the sum of the year's digits, okay, 55. Now, pag nakalimutan mo ang formula, the alternative, just get the sum of the year's digits. So that is 10 plus 9 plus 8. Okay, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ayan, literal na, you get the sum of the year's digits. Okay, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ayan, total, 55. And to get the fraction, we need to get the age. Okay, since the company's policy is none in the year of acquisition, depreciation starts 2017. So 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So the question is sixth year. Okay, 
So, first year, okay, that's 2017, the fraction is 10 over 55. Second year, 2018, 9 over 55. So, notice, okay, decreasing charge method. So, higher in early years, tapos decreasing. So, example siya ng accelerated method. Okay. So, 2022 is year 6. Okay. So, the fraction, 5 over 55. So, 2022 depreciation, that is the 6th year of the asset. That is the DA times the fraction. So, number 8, letter C. So, using SYD. So, notice, medyo inconvenient, no? Kasi dapat alam mo yung age, okay? To determine the fraction. Tapos yun nga yung denominator ng fraction, the SYD. Okay, number nine. A variation of the declining method. Okay, 200% declining. So, similar to okay, uh, SYD, Okay, yung declining balance method is also accelerated method. Okay, so ang accelerated method, it's either decreasing yung rate. Ito actually, oh, ito yung example ng decreasing yung rate. Okay, kaya naman, ang decreasing yung basis ng depreciation. So, just like this one. So, using 200% or double declining balance method, the formula. The previous carrying amount times rate. So the depreciation rate simply is twice the straight line rate. So 1 over life, that is the straight line rate, times 2. So ang variation niyan, merong 150%. So instead of times 2, times 1.5. So 1 over 10 times 2. The rate is 0.2. So 20%. So similar to SYD, we need to know the age. Okay, as noted already, 2022 is the sixth year of the asset. Okay, so ang basis ng 20%, yung carrying amount at December 31, 2021. So yung CA at the end of fifth year. Now, using this method, Okay, so every year, nababawasan ng 20% yung carrying amount. The carrying amount initially is this one. So yung cost. So cost, that's the carrying amount initially. So every year minus 20%. Okay, kaya every year, uh, kaya naiiwan 80% of the uh, kaya previous carrying amount. So since the question is 2022, sixth year, so that is 1,750,000 times natin ang 0.8. So that's the carrying amount after one year. Times 0.8, end of second year. Times 0.8, in the end of third year. Another 0.8, end of fourth year. So another 0.8, end of fifth year. So that's the basis of the sixth year depreciation. So times the rate, 0.2. So I thought first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year. Okay, so bali 1,750 times 0.8 five times to get the previous CA. Okay, times the depreciation rate. <clears throat> Alternatively, okay, dahil con constant naman ito na 0.8, ang pwede natin gawin, 0.8, gamitan mo na exponent. So, 5 times. So, exponent 5. Ayan. Times 1,750 times 0. Kaya lang, no? wala ka palang exponent sa calculator mo. Ayan, using yung basic calculator. Uh, pag wala ka exponent, eto na lang. So, number 9. Letter A. So notice yung accelerated method. Okay, yung 8 and 9, example siya ng accelerated method. 
Okay? So, sa number 8, decreasing yung rate. So, yung SYD. Sa number 9 naman, constant yung rate, pero decreasing yung basis. Okay? So, decreasing yung uh, basis of depreciation. <clears throat> okay? Okay? 